All right, guys, got something exciting. About as exciting when I first turned my very first XYZ motors, I got spindle control hooked up. So let's go ahead. I turned off the auto. Got it 100%. Let's hit it. Boom. 1280. Let's ramp it down. Ready? Go down. That's RPM change. Now, I don't know how this might work for tapping, but here we go. Let's go in. That was a direction reversal. Let's go. I'm not going to try to do it too many times, but there we go. All right. One more for the camera. All right. Get ready to hit it. Three, two, one. Not too bad. Uh, the brains behind this operation is this KB board right here. This is, uh, well, where's the part number? I'll post the part number. But, uh, yeah. Basically what this does is it takes, see those yellow and black wires? It's like, a, I think it's a, uh, zero to 10 volt signal goes into here uh, let me move these goes into here and then my output are these two green wires right here well the mill needs to be five volts so between these two little blue adjustment knobs right there you can adjust it to where when you're at 100 percent throttle that it will be five volts there we go i just went up to five volts the reason I'm at 1250 RPMs is because I went to the low belt, uh, low RPM belt setting for drilling. Uh, it works way better in my application, having that uh, low end torque. So let's go stop the motor. There we go. One more addition to make my life better and easier. This is a 10 millimeter, I don't know, box, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you know what, I threw it in square head, that's it. I, uh, I forget, ordered off uh, eBay or Amazon, one of the two. 10 millimeter female square head, uh, three eighths drive. So I'm gonna make my tool changes with the TTS system, nice.